Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing to you kung paano natin ginagawa ang ating live streaming at kung anong software ito. So guys, grab your laptop and let's download this software. So before we download guys, yung OBS, let's talk about the pros and cons. Ang text features and layout ng OBS ay marami and unlimited. While ang web application is mas limited and mas konti ang option. You can record or add overlays gamit ang OBS while ang web app is an added feature siya at kailangan yung bilhin. Since ang OBS is unlimited layout, ikaw mismo ang gagawa from scratch or manual setup while ang web application may preloaded or pre-layout na available, ikiklik mo na lang, okay na. While ang pag-share at pang-add ng guest sa OBS medyo mahirap at mabusisi while ang web application you just send the link kiklik lang and ready to go at higit sa lahat guys ang OBS is a software na kailangan i-download sa inyong mga laptop or computer unlike sa web application na nag sa web server kaya mas less ang memory kahit naka cellphone okay lang so guys, let's launch our OBS. So if you don't have the OBS, just go to this website, OBS obsproject.com. Then you can get it for your Windows, Mac, or Linux. Libre lang siya guys, so don't worry. Just feel free to download it. After that, let's go back to our OBS. Um, today, we will be doing or discussing about the basic layout at kung paano natin siya i-app sa ating live streaming. So, first step is to go to your scene. Mostly, guys, itong scenes, um, nagkikreate tayo ng multiple layers. Ikinugroup natin through these scenes. So, as of the moment, basic ang ating ituturo sa inyo. Let's go to the second step, which is yung pag add ng source type. So, second step is we need to add source type. There's a lot of ways on how you present your video. Depende na lang kung anong naiisip ninyo or kung anong gusto nyong ma-achieve na layout. But as of the moment, um... Ang gawin natin, ang ating background is image muna. So, let's go to the plus sign to add image source. Let's, um, let's rename it background. Then, open it. So, depende ko na saan yung anyong image so that's okay drag lang natin if you fill in lang natin yung space kasi itong kulay yung kanina guys yung kulay itim is your screen if you fill in lang natin siya para whole screen mo makikita so right now meron tayong background next thing we'll add text so from here just type nyo yung desired text ninyo. In order na mag-fit yung source type ninyo, just click and drag. Yan, may 
isa-isa natin siya. After that, gusto natin magkaroon ng transition yung text natin. Let's go to your source type name. Right click nyo lang siya. Then filter. Then click add and scroll. So we have horizontal speed and vertical speed. Right now, we will be using the horizontal speed. So itaas lang natin siya. So as you can see guys, yung subscribe na word and yung please, eh walang space. Lagyan lang natin siya ng space. Let's go back to our text source. Double click. And from dun sa word na subscribe, sa dulo niya, you could put space or the beginning. Now we have already the background plus the text and the transition. Let's add um, multiple images sa isang source type. So in short, slide, image slide. Let's go plus again, add and image slideshow. Let's say social media. media. From here guys, um, scroll down nyo lang, makikita nyo image files. So from here, pwede kayo mag-input ng multiple images. Don't forget to put the loop or tick the loop and... Ano siya kabilis? Let's say 4,000. Okay na. Yan. Let's add video. So, let's go to VLC. Yung mga video yung nasa loob ng ating laptop or computer. Video compilation. Let's rename. Same thing guys, may playlist siya. Add nyo lang kung anong design ninyo. And let's add our camera. So, same thing. Click lang natin yung plus sign to add video capture device. So, guys, pwede kayong gumamit ng ibang camera using other device. But as of the moment, gagamit lang tayo nung nasa desktop natin. Camera. Yun. Oops. Pagigising. <laughs> Wala tayong babaguhin, guys. So, Press na natin, okay. Let's position our camera. So guys, don't forget yung um, audio mixer natin. So kung may microphone kayo, kung gusto nyo yung lakasan, hinaan, yung, yung volume. So i-adjust nyo lang po siya sa may audio mixer. Especially dito sa my desktop audio. Kung halimbawa, meron kayong audio yung gusto ipakinig sa audience ninyo, um, i-adjust nyo lang yung volume using yung icon. I-click nyo kung i-mute nyo or yung bar nya na pwede nyo hinaan. So, as of the moment, nakompleto natin yung ating layout. Meron na tayong video. Meron na tayong image slides, we have text transition at yung camera. Pati na rin yung background. So, ibaton na natin siya sa live streaming. So, punta lang tayo sa ating platform sa YouTube. Then, after this guys, i-copy lang natin itong stream key. Just balik tayo sa ating OBS and 
dito sa control panel select nyo lang yung settings stream and then highlight yung stream key delete then control V to paste apply natin and press ok now para maibato natin to sa live streaming i-click natin yung start streaming after that sa ating status bar magkakaroon ng live so tingnan natin sa ating youtube so, there you go ang preview pag ready na yan guys click nyo lang yung go live So that's it. If you learned something from this video, hit nyo po ang like button. And if you have suggestions and comments, leave lang kayo sa comment box sa baba. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, pati na rin ang tiny bell button, para updated ka sa aking upcoming videos. Once again, this is your trouble buddy and your home quarantine mate, Bry Palaboy. And thank you for watching. Be Palaboy Vlog!